All right, anonymous question comes in. Hi, Pastor Mike. Hope your day is going well. Well, it's going even better now. I'm enjoying my time with you guys. Uh, why does Jesus pray for us in heaven when he can directly ask God since he is seated at the right hand of God? Ah, the intercession of Christ. Good question. Um, let me take this to that passage in Hebrews. Um, Let me see. Just it'll take me a moment to find it. The exact verse. Just a second. Just a second. You hear me typing. Um, so the original thinking I had on this when I was younger is that when Jesus interceded for me, He was praying for me in the way that like I might pray for a friend. Hey, so and so, can you pray for me? And as I studied these things a bit more in detail, and I started looking at like passages of scripture that talk about Jesus actually interceding for us. Here, first I'll go to Romans 8, 34. I realized it was different than I expected. So let's look at the passage here. Who is, he, who is to condemn? Like who is the one who condemns us? Christ Jesus, which is nobody by the way, if you're, in, if you're Christ, right? Romans 8, 1, like there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ. So here in verse 34, he goes, who is to condemn us? The answer is going to be nobody. And the reason Christ Jesus is the one who died more than that, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. What is this intercession that Jesus is doing? The intercession of Jesus, to my understanding, is not the intercession of one who is um, praying for specific needs I have. I'm not saying he doesn't care about your needs or isn't concerned about your needs. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is his intercession is a different kind. It's more like a priestly intercession. It's more like the intercession that keeps you from being condemned. That's the context. Wait, there we go. That's the context of this verse right here is that you and me are not being condemned because Jesus intercedes. That is, when, a, when an accusation comes against you about your sinfulness and your worth, your worthiness of being judged, Jesus stands between you and the ac accusation and says, I died for him, for her, and I rose again from the dead. And that accusation fails because Jesus has overcome it. So this intercession is not the kind of intercession that we get from... Um, from prayer is the intercession we get from a priest. And, that, and that's why we go to Hebrews. So Hebrews 7.25 is the other verse I'll take us to. Here it says, consequently, Jesus, right? The he here is Jesus. He's able to save to the uttermost those who draw near to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. Again, this isn't him praying for specific needs. This is saving us. His intercession is about salvation. I can draw near to God through Jesus because he died in my place, rose again, and now it's in Christ that I'm holy and without blame and I stand before God in perfect love. He lives to be the one uh, mediator between God and man, bringing us together. That's Christ Jesus. So, so I would say the answer to your question from, from my perspective is that the Bible doesn't actually have Jesus praying for specific needs I have. I can pray to, uh, usually I pray Typical prayer, I think, in structure, in scripture, is I pray to the Father, but I'm praying in the name of the Son, and, you know, because of the Son, He's interceding, so I'm able to access the Father through the Son, and I'm praying in the Spirit. So I have, if you think of it like, maybe a little bit crudely, but I think it's helpful, the Holy Spirit's inside of me as I'm praying, hopefully guiding and directing me, right, hopefully even inspiring, in, in a sense, my prayers, um, and Jesus is the one I pray through because he gives me access to God the Father so that every prayer is going up through the glorious Son made acceptable to God. So in a sense, he's active in my prayers, but not interceding by praying for me, but interceding by creating the bridge between me and God at all times so that my prayers can even be a thing. This is why Jesus says, pray in my name.